In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here, you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. When Brockton is home, everything is within reach. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Brockton City Hall for this announcement. We're very happy to have you all here with us. Um, it was about five months ago uh, that we were joined here at City Hall with NeighborWorks and Wells Fargo uh, to roll out the Neighborhood Lift Program, uh, which was a tremendous opportunity for families in five counties in Massachusetts to obtain down payment assistance, substantial down payment assistance. Uh, in most cases, $20,000 towards the purchase of a house. Uh, and it was not limited to first-time home buyers. So we were very excited to be a partner in that announcement. And uh, we're here five months later uh, to let you know how well the program went, uh, how many families are purchasing homes in the city, and the amount of uh, additional investment uh, in property here in the city that it's generated. So uh, as excited as we were when we rolled the program out five months ago, uh, we're even more excited with the results uh, as to just how many folks uh, have been helped financially to purchase a home and from my standpoint, how many of them chose to make Brockton their home, which I think is a great story for the city. So uh, I would like to introduce first from NeighborWorks who's uh, administering this program, uh, both uh, here and in Quincy, Rob Corley. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's great to be here in the City of Champions, and um, I'm proud to announce that you have another banner you can hang up here as uh, champions of the Neighborhood Lift Program. So we, uh, back five months ago, as the mayor mentioned, we kicked off a $6 million down payment assistance program uh, with the help of Wells Fargo and NeighborWorks America. Um, and we made that announcement here because we think Bro Brockton is a wonderful place to live. And we've been providing home buyer education here for 10 years, and we see that every day. Um, so this was a five-county uh, program. So basically half of the state uh, was eligible for this program, and it was really launched in Boston. Um, so we didn't really know where anybody would buy or what they would do or how they would react. They get $20,000, they can buy in any one of those five counties. And what we found is that the majority of the buyers chose to buy in Brockton. So $1 million in down payment assistance was brought to Brockton through this program, and 47 buyers, 47 of those buyers purchased here in Brockton. Um, they chose Brockton for all the obvious reasons that we all know well. It's transportation, it's proximity to uh, the city of Boston. It's a great place to live, work, and play. And NeighborWorks is just so proud to be a part of the continued success of this great city. Um, I'm going to introduce Cindy Pendergrass in a minute, who's going to tell you a little bit more about some of the buyers, but I will just give you a, a little overview. These were mostly single-family homes that were purchased um, here in Brockton, which is also exciting, not just condos or even multifamilies, but single-family homes, which is great. And when you think about all the uh, different uh, communities that are out there, um, and to know that they chose Brockton as a place to live, this is, this is very um, exciting. Um, so I'm going to ask Cindy from our, our office, I want to say that our office saw 250 clients um, and had to process every one of those. They had to go through training 
And uh, education is so important when it comes to buying a home. We all know what happened in this city and all across the Commonwealth in 07, 06, 07, in those very, very trying times for so many homeowners. Uh, education is a key component of this. It's not just about giving somebody a low interest rate or a down payment. It's about making sure they're going to live and be in a stable form of home ownership, uh, not just a uh, not just about the affordability and how expensive it is, but actually they can afford to live there and live there for a long period of time. Um, so Cindy, uh, could you please come up? Cindy's the director of our Brockton office. She's here to tell you a little bit more about some of the clients. Thank you. Thank you and welcome everybody and thank you for coming. This is an exciting day and um, as we had processed so many of the clients that came through, I was always particularly um, pleased when I saw, oh, you're buying in Brockton. <laughs> you know, and I would be, uh, have a little special welcome to them. But um, I just wanted to tell you a couple of client stories. So the first story is a story of a young man who lived with his mother, father, and sister. He's working himself through school, and um, they dreamed of owning a two-family home in Brockton. And, um, so finally, after saving for two years, they had been in the home ownership process for a couple of years, and they went and got pre-approved from a local lender. So the mother, who works two jobs, and the son, who, like I said, was working himself through school, were able to qualify for a loan. And they learned from that local lender about the LIFT program. So that, those LIFT funds not only helped them to be able to put money toward the transaction, but allowed them to retain some more funds in their savings that they wouldn't have been able to. So they, I just talked to the young man this morning, and they bought their house, they bought a two-family home, they live upstairs, and now they're landlords as well. And um, so it's a sustainable story as well, isn't it? Because now they have that rental income to then be able to um, help them be successful and, and be a sustainable homeowner. So I asked him today, what would you say if you were here? And he said, if, if it wasn't for Lyft, we'd still be trying to save for the down payment. And so he was just so thankful. He said, this made our dream a reality. Um, the second story is a family of six, hardworking mother and father supporting four children. The mother works nights, including overtime. The dad works days on a research vessel. So he's out to sea for weeks at a time sometimes, just so they can earn the money to um, have their down payment. So as renters, they just longed for the stability that a single family home would bring their family. They heard about their, um, the lift program from their realtor. So they actually attended the launch. And um, that day, they were pre-approved by Wells Fargo. And now all of a sudden, that dream that seemed far off it was more of a reality. So with the help of their realtor, they were able to get all the documents pulled together and they were able to buy their single family home. So today they, they said the same thing as, you know, it helped them to realize their dream, but now they bought in a city they loved. Both of these stories were Brockton residents. They were renters here and they chose to buy in the city that they love. And now they're here being part, a stable part of this community. And that's our goal with NeighborWorks is stable communities through stable home ownership. And so with the LIFT program, that made that possible for these two stories. So thank you. And now I'm gonna introduce Brianna Curran from Wells Fargo. All right, thank you guys so much for having me. My name is Brianna Curran. I manage community relations for Wells Fargo here in Massachusetts. And the, I really just wanna thank everybody who made today possible and the ability for us to share the success for the city of Brockton. Um, the purpose of the neighborhood lift program is to provide down payment assistance to make the dream of home ownership a reality for families and individuals. But of course, that wouldn't be possible if we didn't have great community partners. So I would first like to thank Mayor Carpenter and his leadership and his entire team. They really embraced the program. They got the word out. And of course, for making Brockton such a wonderful place for so many people to call home. 
And then the other partner who this wouldn't have been possible without is NeighborWorks Southern Mass. So thank you to Rob and Cindy and their entire team. You heard Rob and Cindy talk about how we paired the down payment assistance and I think the critical component of the success of this program is that it's paired with home buyer education so that people can become long-term successful homeowners. So thanks for having me and I don't know who I'm turning it back over to, the mayor. So I would just like you to think about a couple of the numbers uh, that have been mentioned here. Uh, I think it was about $6 million that Wells Fargo put into Massachusetts. A million dollars of that $6 million was spent right here in the city of Brockton, was invested here in the city of Brockton. Um, it generated the purchase of almost $14 million worth of homes. So there was $14 million of property sold in this city to homeowners as a result of the million dollar investment that was made by Wells Fargo. Um, so I just believe so much that this is validating what we're saying, that the, the, the conversation and the dialogue is changing here in the city of Brockton, and the perception is changing here in the city of Brockton. And these are families that could have gone anywhere in five counties, but they chose to buy here. And there are reasons for that. We're certainly one of the more affordable communities right now in this argument. But we're also a 30-minute train ride from downtown Boston. We've also got great schools and great hospitals and great neighborhoods and all the things that families look for when they're choosing where they're going to purchase a home. And it was interesting that um, the majority of the folks came in from outside the city. There were, I think, about 16 that were originally from Brockton but the rest came from all around the area, many from Boston, uh, to choose to come here to Brockton to, to own their home. So, you know, I, I think about um, conversations we, we've had over a number of years about residency requirements and working for the city and how that's controversial. And isn't the world changing when people are coming here now because they want to live here. And we've had a couple of our recent hires uh, here at City Hall who applied for these positions and wanted to work here because they also wanted to live here and they saw the opportunity to uh, own a home here in the city. So I, I do truly believe that Brockton represents uh, a 21st century city. We are a diverse city, we're a welcoming city, we're a city where clearly a lot of different folks who had the ability to choose where they wanted to go, chose to come here. And as much as we like to talk about the story of the revitalization of downtown and all the market rate housing that will be coming into our downtown over the next 24 months, and the investment just next year in 2019, you'll see over $100 million of new investment in downtown Brockton, it's, it's mind boggling. But another big part of our story right now is the, the, the story that you just heard here, and that's the opportunity for people to have home ownership here. Uh, to, to the folks that want a house and a yard and a neighborhood and a school to send their kids to and a place that they want to live. And uh, that's, that's what we are, that's who we are, and it continues to change every day. But I can't thank enough both the folks at NeighborWorks and at Wells Fargo for bringing this program to Brockton, to creating this opportunity for 47 families to own their own home and choose to do that here in our great city. So thank you, and thank you everyone. Yeah, I, I wanna give also a moment, we've got our state senator Mike Brady here. He's representing the delegation and I wanna give Mike an opportunity just to say a couple words. And, and I want to give kudos to the mayor because the city of Brockton still offers downtown as payment assistance. And that's a difference between a lot of other communities. We work very well together at the state delegation, our federal delegation, our local delegation, all the partners. And I couldn't thank uh, NeighborWorks as well enough. I've run into families, especially when we were at the, down, the last downturn in the economy with the real estate market. When I was a city council, long before I even got into the state house, a lot of families came to us looking for help. They ran into tough financial situations. 
the mortgage industry was in a crisis if not for neighbor works helping out many, many families that wouldn't have been able to stay in their home and move forward and, and rewrite their mortgages and so forth. So thank you to all the partners that are here today. And that, would, that is what makes us the City of Champions. Unlike my, my namesake and the Patriots last week, they didn't work together and win a tough game. We are still working very well together in the City of Brockton and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So thank you very much. One quick final note, there are still further opportunities here in the city of Brockton. The city does have its own down payment assistance program that is available through NeighborWorks that does also involve the education component. We know how important that is for people to be successful homeowners is to fully understand the process before they enter it. And uh, there are literally new classes starting at, at NeighborWorks every week. So we encourage anyone that's thinking of purchasing a home, first of all, to buy it here in Brockton, but secondly, to take advantage of the, of the new home buyer uh, education that's available at NeighborWorks and then can inquire also to see if they might be eligible for some additional assistance from the city with their purchase. So on that note, I thank you all very much for attending. Thank you for sharing this great news for the city with us. And, and thanks again to all the folks who made it happen. Thank you. In anticipation of the City of Brockton's new trash and recycling program, the Office of Mayor Bill Carpenter has teamed up the city with the Recycle Coach app, which is easily downloadable in Google Play and in the Apple App Store on most mobile devices. Once you have the app downloaded onto your device, type in and select Brockton, Massachusetts as your location. A page with our city seal will pop up and click Confirm to continue. Right now, a notice should pop up alerting you of the city's new trash and recycling program. Click OK to acknowledge that and then choose from one of eight languages to be your preferred language while using this app. Once you have done that, enter your street name so that we can correctly keep you up to speed with notifications about trash and recycling pickup in your neighborhood. A screen will appear asking if you would like to be reminded about upcoming collections and or events. If you choose to click yes, you'll have the option for reminders to be sent to your phone for trash pickup, recycling pickup, yard waste collection, Christmas tree collections, holiday trash schedules, and more. You can even set how far in advance you want the notification to be sent to you. From the homepage of the Recycle Coach app, one of the most commonly used features is the My Schedule feature. If you click on My Schedule, the app will show you what is going on in your neighborhood for trash and recycle pickup on any given week. Notice how on this calendar, it shows that your trash is being picked up every week, your recycling is being picked up every other week, and on one week during this month, your trash will be picked up a day later than normal due to a holiday schedule. If we jump ahead a month, the schedule also tells us what days yard waste will be picked up. The Recycle Coach app, just another way the city of Brockton is using technology to connect with its residents. We're the largest privately held office supplier in the country right now, and it's coming out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Kenworth has had a good experience in Brockton. The big selling point for Kenworth going to Brockton was easy highway access and a city that would be easy to work with to get a nicely renovated facility up and running quickly. This is home. We love where we're at right now. And why would anybody not want to come to Brockton and go out there and try to shoot for the same kind of dreams with their company? Business investments are helping to build a new Brockton. personally congratulate you and the entire Brockton Fire Department on this tremendous achievement, uh, now being recognized as one of the top fire departments in the entire state, uh, achieving a protection class one by ISO. I think it speaks to the professionalism, the training, uh, the commitment of the, of the Brockton Fire Department. And uh, on behalf of all the residents of this city, uh, we just want to thank you very much for the job that you and your uh, firefighters do for us every day. Well, thank you, Mayor. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> I can't take all the credit for this, obviously. <laughs> my, my chief officer's staff uh, had a lot to do with this. They worked very hard. 
along with uh, I, I also wanted to recognize Larry Raleigh from the Water Department. His people helped us out tremendously. Um, part of this report is, is the hydrant system in the city, and that was kept up up yeah. to speed um, yeah. as best as they could, and, and they did a from, from tremendous job. Yeah, but I think it's it's important uh, for people to realize that uh, the difference it makes in a city like Brockton to have a professional fire department. Exactly. And, and, we uh, take pride in that. Yeah, and it, it's really important. And I think that, um, you know, one of the things as mayor uh, that I've really learned in my three years is I've had a chance to have a seat in the front row and really watch the fire department in action. I don't make it to all the fire scenes, but I, I make it to a lot of the fires and a lot of the accidents. I think I've really had a chance to see firsthand um, how quickly, how professionally, and uh, the firefighters respond to every situation, uh, the difficult and life-threatening positions that they put themselves in, protecting the public. And I just think, uh, you know, I, all our first responders, but particularly today talking about the fire department, um, just the level of appreciation that I've developed for uh, what you guys do every day, most of the time not being noticed and not being recognized. Uh, and it's nice that today that we can draw some attention to this achievement of the city of Brockton being placed into a protection class one by ISO. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and for, for this is this is going to help uh, all the residences, but particularly businesses. This is, I think people have to realize that there is an important uh, business aspect to this, and this is that the premiums that are paid for fire insurance uh, or homeowners insurance in the case of homeowners, but particularly with commercial fire policies where the premiums are much larger, um, the rates that businesses and homeowners will pay for fire insurance next year uh, will be a little lower uh, because of this protection class one. So I think it's great to have the recognition for the fire department and to know that you know, there are only a, a couple of hundred departments across the entire country right. that are able to earn uh, this fire protection class one, but that also uh, here in the city of Brockton that uh, both business owners and residents will benefit by lower insurance rates this year because of this recognition. Great.